hi friends, it's me Nikki here, and if you're looking for a way to incorporate your new puppy into your home decor, then this video is for you. Okay friends, I want to share with you how I incorporate Bentley into our home so that we can maintain our same decor, but just to welcome our new addition and have him fit in. So I have a few tips that I think will be helpful if you have a new pet and wondering how to do this. So my first tip is to stay away from the traditional pet furniture and go with furniture that more fits the design of your furniture because now on the market they have so many pieces and things for pets that really fit um, our designs. And so it's great because you have the comfort for your pet but then you don't have the distraction in your home. Another thing is with storing away their items. You know, a lot of times when you go into pet friendly homes, you'll see the leashes and things hanging on doors. And for me, that wasn't an option. I wanted something a little more neater, tucked away, but easy to get to. So I found these little containers in Target in the bathroom section. They work great in the drawer here in the entryway because it's easy to get to when we walk him. We have all of his items to walk him right here. Um, I have a little bit of honey here because in case he's, um, you know, little dogs are hypo, they get hypoglycemic really easy. So I like to have that on hand. His little water on the go, uh, kind of container here which is great along with I have little snacks here everything that I need to go walk Mr. Bentley is tucked away right here close to the door and so this is all of Bentley's things in the drawer so I don't have him kind of scattered all throughout the house these are all of his essentials so not only do I have that I have all of his all of his bathing items and his blankets and all the little things that Mr. Bentley needs and so the great thing about having them in this entryway I had this freed up here this drawer freed up and I have things like his his washcloth for when we're bathing him and all of his little supplies his bath towels here and I only keep two on hand um, and then his little um, ear wipes so that when he's bathing I can easily get to it because I bathe him in the powder room downstairs he's so small he can bathe him right in the powder room sink and so it works and uh, then on the other side here is where I keep uh, two little bags here one is for his after bathing kind of um, primping things like his toothbrush and his um, brush for his coat and all of those um, his like nose lotion and his paw lotion and all of that is tucked away in here so that after we bathe we can sit down I can have this bag here and easily get to everything and and I like having things in this bag so that when he when we travel we can just grab the bag and put it in our bag or put it in another bag his bag and we're good to go um, so just all of his cute little essentials that he needs for bathing are tucked away in this little bag so the key friends is just to keep everything out of my view so that I can easily get to it you know I don't want it scattered around the house and in different um, open spaces so that keeps me from feeling uh, overwhelmed with his things but it helps me have everything in a place that's easy to get to when I need it. And to keep it beautiful, just use makeup bags. They're perfect for your pet gear. I get them all kinds of places. Along with a little tip is if you have a small pup and you're looking for a grooming pillow, you know you can pay you know lots of money for a pet grooming pillow. I went to the baby section in the store and found one of these little kind of head rests for babies for their car seat, all of five bucks, and it's perfect for grooming him. And when I need to brush his teeth, he sits down in it and its head lays on the top and it really functions great. And at that price, you cannot be it. it is such a money saver um, the top up here is where I keep his little carrier that I kind of um, carry him around it's really easy to carry him when I'm trying to leave quickly so I have that tucked away in the drawer there but again you see I have everything centralized here all his little products and things centralized here so that I can um, get to them but they're hidden away and so if you have a little side cabinet you can kind of um, put things away the one here is temporarily for his puppy things I don't expect to always have to have puppy pads and things but while we're in this phase um, we'll utilize this drawer but this is intended to be freed up soon hopefully real soon um, after potty training is over and so that's how we store his pet things another tip friends is to use real home decor items such as decorative pillows to make their beds and things like that you just want to make sure that the comfort level is there for your pet Mike actually made this bed based off this pillow that I gave him I got the baby blanket the striped baby blanket here in the baby section I kept with the colors of my home so that it would fit in this bed is going to be painted white so it's not painted yet but it's going to go in our bedroom so that it blends in seamlessly with the grays and the whites and things that are in that room but this is so comfortable for Bentley and this is his little coat space he's even utilizing it before we finish it so that's one key thing 
So another thing, friends, is not to be afraid to use your dog's item or your pet's item rather as decor. And so I have Bentley's food storage here that serves as uh, decor pieces for my mantle. Of course, it fits his theme of his little doggy things, but it doesn't distract, but it adds to the decor of the mantle here. So I've incorporated him into our home that way. And again, they have so many beautiful items on the market now, you definitely can find something. Along with his doggy bowls, you know, I went with something that was really customized and fit the colors of our home. When you go into stores now, they have so many different selections for your doggy bowls. I would stay away from things that distract from your home and stick with th those that are really complementing it. Along with his toys, you know, when I, I shop his toys, I'm intentional about it. So when I'm looking at toys, I'm looking at those colors that blend in with my home decor so that when he's playing with them, when they're out and about, they don't distract too much from the home because they blend in with the colors down to his toy box. So it's something that a lot of times we don't think about because you go in the store and they have just all these different things but when you look at it I had a gray very neutral palette but there's a lot of entertaining toys as you can see that he loves in the colors that don't distract from my normal decor and lastly, in our lounge space, Bentley has his chair in between Mike and I as we watch movies, but I love that it has the function when we're all there together. But when guests come, I can easily move it away, but it doesn't distract from our home. So friends, I hope you've enjoyed my little tips on how we have incorporated our little Bentley into our home. We are so in love and so happy to have him as a part of our family. If you have any questions, let me know. All my pet lovers out there, let me know how you do in your home with your pets and your decor. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye.